What's going on, YouTube? Uh, I just made a little short of this tungsten grinder I bought. And uh, someone commented on there wanting a video on how it works. So I figured I'd go ahead and do the video now, 12 o'clock. Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Um, just got home, I got a little buzz, so just give me a minute to get together what I'm trying to say here. I'm just going to give a little review on how this thing works. I was planning on doing a little review anyway, a follow-up to the little tiny short I did to get the curiosity going. I guess it worked. So anyway, this thing's got a little bar on it uh, right here. It's got one on each side. Unfortunately, the guard that comes with this one doesn't come with an eighth-inch tungsten size holder. It just, comes at the, just goes up to 332. And I'm assuming that's a 16th tungsten, that little baby one there. But um, anyhow, so I got some tungsten here already sharp. Got a bunch in here. Got a little pack out box. Bunch of them in there, nice and sharpened up, tidied up. But I got the new stuff, so it's going to be kind of hard to do holding the iPhone. Doing all this trying to record but we'll see what we can do got some tungsten two percent thoriated red stuff good stuff and uh so it's got something on here that's claiming to be tungsten snapper <laughs> we usually just cut them with the metabo or something whatever we can make happen you know them with the dikes they splinter and stuff like that it's got a little groove right here that claims that you just put it in that groove and it's going to snap the tungsten you know when you pull it sideways so once again this is going to be hard to do let me try to sit down to rig just waiting to poke me now all right so let's see what goes down here put that in there snap your tungsten I'm I'm impressed. It actually worked, and it didn't splinter. It. That's pretty dang cool. Never seen that before, and that was so quick. Loving this already. Try it one more time. S snap. That is cool. All right, I'm happy with it already. Clean snaps, no splinters. One more time, and then we'll sharpen some tungsten, and then I'm going to sleep. That one took a little more effort, considering uh, such a small piece. Kind of broke them too small, actually. That's all right. Still use them. Still make use of them. So you got a drill. Let's see. Grab your drill. Pain in the butt recording doing all this handed, but we'll do it get your tungsten put it in your drill like you're gonna do it i'm sure if you're in the field and you're a welder you've done this before plenty of times with a metabo or something um very similar yeah i'm not gonna be able to do this in record with one hand should have brought my daughter out here <laughs> she's still up oh crap all right this is gonna be interesting so yeah, anyway, I'm not even gonna be able to show you, but I tried for you, Bubba. I'll take another video later, at a later date with someone recording maybe. So you got different grind angles. A grind angle is just the angle of the tungsten that they recommend, you know, AWS or whatever the standards. So you put that in there, you crank this bad boy up just like this. It, this thing has different speeds if you wanna crank it all the way up. That'll, that'll really get you there real quick. As you can see, the battery's dying already. I ain't charged this thing yet. Just got it out the box. But I didn't even do that. I left it on three. You stick your tungsten down in there, but you gotta have your drill spinning. That keeps you an even, nice grind all the way around that baby. Make you a nice, sharp tungsten. Stick it right down in that angle and just make sure you hold it, you know, nice and proper. Get your drill spinning, ring. Nice, sharp tungsten every time. That's a uh, Eastwood TG 2000 cordless tungsten grinder. Item number 58878. 
Thing's pretty neat, guys. Um, it will get the job done way quicker than anything I've ever used before. All right, thanks for watching. Good night. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Good night, sleep.